So our next poem will be on the week of Memorial Day. That's the end of May, starting May 26th. Laura Gooley is our poet. She's a psychologist and a poet, and uh, has a sh also has a chapbook out, and can't wait to hear what she's going to read us. Laura. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, there. There are mornings when I wake and want to weep for hours. The planet in my belly swells. I don't know if my hand is my hand, if my eyes really see, or if the time on the kitchen clock is simply love in clever disguise. Nothing is forever, they say. Everything will pass. The day yawns deep. The sun hasn't yet burnt through its haze. And summer heat ripples its great flag. You did everything you could, whispers the dove. It did not break you, insists the ash tree, on these mornings when I wake and want to weep for hours. And I just found this, um, a poem that I wrote actually for my grandfather. Um, still a work in progress. You know, it's one of those you pull out every year or so and <laughs> change a little and then it's not quite there. But. So here it's, this is uh, in this iteration. It's called Leaving San Antonio, 1937. True story. At the station, she begged him, stay eyes the color of raw honey. But he recalled her father's words and willed himself proud, strong enough for New York City, winking like a new dime. Stepped on the train, leaving all behind. Cattle farms, pecan trees, tortillas steaming on a plate. In Brooklyn, he married an Italian girl, welded ships in the war. He learned to make lasagna, cannoli, built his house piece by piece, had two chubby, rosy-cheeked babies who would never know a Texas sky. A sweet life, yet on his deathbed, he would see her still, red hair, blue dress, standing in the rain. He would call out her name, Margarita, Margarita, apologize, explain, proclaim his love, wish it was possible for a train to run on more than one track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.